FIDIC is the French acronym for Fédération Internationale des Engineers Consoles. Excuse the awful pronunciation of that sentence. In English, it translates to the International Federation of Consulting Engineers. It was originally founded by a trio of countries, France, Belgium and Switzerland in 1913. The UK later joined the Federation in 1949. In this video, we'll be discussing their suite of contracts, but unlike the NEC or JCT contracts we've broken down in previous videos, FIDIC offers a little more. Similar to RICS, they provide a membership structure for consulting engineers from over 97 countries. Before we start, if you're enjoying our videos, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We release content every Wednesday to ensure you have all the support you need. Over the years, FIDIC has become famous for its secondary activity of producing standard form contracts for the construction and engineering industry. FIDIC published its first contract, titled The Form of Contract for Works of Civil Engineering Construction in 1957. As the title indicated, the first contract was aimed at the civil engineering sector, and it soon became known for the colour of its cover, and thus it was named the Red Book. It has since become a tradition that FIDIC contracts are known by the colour of their cover, and this is what we'll cover here. As I said earlier, it all started with the Red Book. We'll call this the Old Red Book. Spoiler alert, there is a new one now. This contract was aimed at the civil engineering sector. Next came the Old Yellow Book, which was produced in 1967. These contracts were aimed at the mechanical and electrical engineering sector. In 1995, FIDIC released the Orange Book. This was the first design and build contract in the series. The new Red Book was released in 1999. This book is suitable for contracts where the majority of the design rests with the employer. The new Yellow Book was also released in 1999. This book is suitable for contract where the contractor has the majority of the design responsibility. 1999 was a big year and also marks the release of the Silver and Green Book. The Silver Book is for turnkey projects. This contract places significant risks on the contractor. The contractor is also responsible for the majority of the design. The Green Book is FIDIC's short form subcontract. Finally, in 2008, the Gold Book was established. This is FIDIC's first design, build, and operate contract. There are other books produced by FIDIC, but they are used to a much lesser extent. In most FIDIC forms, there is a default hierarchy for the documents form in the contract. The list includes Number one, the contract agreement. Number two, the letter of acceptance. This is a formal acceptance for the contractor's tender and marks the formation of the contract. Number three, the letter of tender. Number four, part two, the conditions of the particular application. Number five, part one, general conditions of the contract. Six, the specification and drawings in the red book, the employer requirements in the yellow book, and the schedules in the red and yellow books. And number seven, further documents, if any, listed in the contract agreement or in the letter of acceptance. This video is the start of a mini-series where we'll dive into the main books in a more detailed manner to ensure you have a good understanding of these contracts. Before we end this video, we at Matrone would like to thank each and every person that has subscribed to our channel. Over the last week, we've hit a monumentous goal with over 1,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It only takes a couple of seconds and really helps us provide more tools and content for you. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.